Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to walk you through this makeup tutorial that you can wear to your late husband's funeral who mysteriously passed away and left you all of his money. I hope you enjoy. What you doing? Nothing. I'm going to start today with foundation. Remember, the foundation to every good marriage starts in the vows. My personal favorite was, till death do us part. I'm going to be mixing two together because why limit yourself to just one? I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Fair 3W. I'm just applying it directly to the skin and then blending it out with a sponge. Once that's blended in, I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer in the shade Fair Light Neutral. I'm just going to apply this under the eyes to conceal any darkness, any blemishes. Any evidence and once again blending. Next, I'm going to powder in the places where I get oily, because only the guilty sweat. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, just on my spun. I did add some concealer to the eyelids to act as a primer for the eyeshadow because we want our makeup to stick, not our charges. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder there as well. Perfect. And next step is bronzing. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shade Medium, but I believe that it has been discontinued. Kind of like my husband. This really helps warm up the face. If only it worked on my heart. Next, I'm going in with some blush. This is the Fresh Minerals Blush in the shade Suntone. Blush is really important for looking healthy, young, youthful. And we really need the old rich men to continue believing that we are, in fact, in our early 20s. Next, I'm going to go in with a highlighter because I would like to shine like the diamond that I pawned to pay off the maid to keep quiet. Today, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 1.
Next, I'm going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. It's important to fill in your brows and keep them lifted and arched, looking surprised. Just like you were surprised when the police came to your door to alert you of your husband's mysterious passing. Next is eyeshadow. I really like to use warm tones to bring out the green in my eyes. For money, not jealousy, of course. And for that, I'm going to use the palette from ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie at Forest Sight. It's full of these lovely warm tones, and also I want her to be my friend. I'm going to start buffing in the crease these two shades mixed together. Once those are lightly applied in the crease, I'm going to apply this shade. I'm going to put it more concentrated in the crease and less blown out. Next, I'm going to use ColourPop Super Shock Shadow from the same collection in the shade Like a Moss. I like this shade because it has kind of a shift to it, and it really symbolizes how I can shift personalities. I like to apply this one with my fingers because I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Now I'm going to apply a winged liner off camera with the KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner. And just make sure you keep it sharp. Sharp enough to cut glass. Definitely not your rich husband. Next, you wanna go in with some mascara. This is the Milk Kush Mascara. It doesn't have to be waterproof because we both know no real tears are gonna be coming out of those eyes. Now I'm going to go apply some eyelashes to make my eyes pop. They say that eyes are the window to the soul, but in my case, they're just a window. Lastly, you want to apply a lipstick. I'm using red, like the blood that I definitely did not clean out of the carpet. This is the shade Red Velvet by Lime Crime. It's actually the exact shade that Cheryl Blossom wears in Riverdale, and she burned down her whole house. So. I like to overline a little bit because stretching the truth never hurt anybody. At least nobody important. I'm going to set everything with the Milani Make It Last setting spray because the only thing you want stronger than your setting spray is your alibi. Now that the makeup is finished, I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear for the occasion. So the key here really is flying under the radar. So this is going to be your best bet. Before you go, you also want to practice this movement here. See what I'm saying? I really hope that this video helps some of you out, and don't worry, if the funeral has already passed, just keep this video in mind for the next one.